back to another live stream. We are back. IRM in Train Sim. Few updates I've done. East Union's being redone. I'm redoing a lot of the ground textures because they look pretty bad. Hopefully you can be doing a lot of signal work. East Union has not been redone. This is the wrong version of the line. Um, okay. Um, yeah, this is the old version. I don't know if it updated now. This is really odd. So I was editing the wrong version of the line, or I lost all the progress from last night, which may be the case. If so, shoot, because now I have to redo everything. I am not sure. Okay, now I'm getting dump files. I do think there's something wrong with the root. Let me paste the root onto my desktop and delete the folder and reinstall. Okay, is now out of the game folder, so I have to log in and delete it, and then I can reinstall from Workshop really quick.
Let's see. Yes! Okay. The correct version of the route finally loaded. Okay. So I did a little bit or a lot of work last night on this area, changing the old brick platform out for these. This is a little bit more realistic, actually. Having more of just a basic concrete. Eventually, I will figure out a way to put white lines on there like there are in real life. But yeah, that was a lot of work last night. Also, I need to work on signaling around here. I'm not... 100% sure. I need to go back and watch some videos of this area at the museum. You go somewhere about 300 times or so, and you still can't remember where a signal is on the main line. So yeah, I'm just going to be doing a little bit of work. Let's get those. About there shouldn't be too big of a gap and then you should get the shadow I am changing out the ground textures just for this I probably should just go over the whole thing and like redo the whole thing but not 100% sure yet um, I need to switch out this road and this intersection need to do all of this. I'm hoping to get work on this part. You can't see my mouse. Okay, there. this area right around here I believe it's not even a mile but this is where a lot of the museum equipment well actually this is where all the museum equipment entered the museum at some point it all came along this line here and then into here which I need to adjust this There, is there a blend feature? I thought there was. Okay, no. I just need to figure out how to connect them. I'm tempted just to do this. Right after there. Lower it into the ground. I have the connection there. So, we will do that. Darn it, it just flattens it. I don't want that. Um, I guess I could just... That's annoying, but there's not much I can do here. I may be able... If I wanted, I could switch out this track for this type. My main issue is I planned on switching that track out for, where is it, I'm trying to find which one it was. I just need to figure out how to actually switch out track, but I'll find it. I think it was this one I wanted. Yeah, it was this one. It has a little overhead wire on it already, which will help greatly with the progress. It isn't meant to be, I don't think. Um, 
overhead wire. I think it was something else on the Sacramento Northern. But track looks a lot better. And this isn't realistic for that. But okay. There's way too many tracks in this line. One of these blends a lot nicer with it, I know. There it is. <clears throat> this blends a little bit better. It's still not perfect, but it's better than the other. So, once I figure out how to switch out all this track for the other, I'll have a little bit of work to do in this area, fixing certain things. Um, I need to add grass in here. And what else? I need to build a structure around this. Add people walking places. I was experimenting with that last night. It was it was going interestingly, I should say. We'll just leave it at that. Um let's T S twenty fourteen edit mode. Put that there. We'll delete that one, move this one a little bit closer. That's already in the wall. I don't know which one I decided on. Let me try the Soldier Summit. I'll just... Why don't I just put it here? Actually, no. I'll just do it outside as a test. Uh, a lot of people walk along this. In the grass, for some reason, also. You know there's a perfectly fine sidewalk right there. I would have to adjust this, obviously, for the final version, but... Okay. Here are people. Generic clothing, which will be good. Only one guy. <laughs> hmm. Another big issue is a lot of these tracks actually have trains coming out of them. Meaning that I don't want to have people walking across and people clipping through the trains. It'll just kind of look terrible, I guess would be the best way. So I guess I could just do... Where's... So the entrance to the barn is there. People, actually, let me turn to Kingsweir Road Lane One. I've pretty much decided this is going to be the path for 90% of the museum. So we'll do starting here. We'll just 
run it around. Put some there. Because people go to the drink machines. We can put it back through here to the playground. I'll have to lower all this to ground level, which shouldn't be too hard. Then we can run that there, that there, that there. Also, one thing I've been thinking of doing for a while is bringing my computer to the museum one time. No clue if I'd be allowed to or not, but and um, try building the route itself at the museum so if I wanted to go research a certain area because I didn't know how it looked I could just walk over there I have no idea how this would work but I've always wanted to try that so it would pretty much just be a normal live stream on your guys end but I would actually be at the location I'd be building which I've always wanted to try and I would probably have to buy a laptop for that, but and figure out internet. But the other day while I was there, right here, there were a fair amount of people all on computers. So I thought, why not? First off, I had some picnic tables, just like there were. And then second, why not? like live stream from there. So that's what are you doing? I'm building this exact location I'm on. Really confuse people. Let's get those deleted. Certain areas I feel like are going to be a very big challenge to actually get laying down properly. But I may delete all this. I'm just letting you guys know now. I don't know how this will turn out. I only tested this on a very small section of the museum the other day while just playing around, so... Uh, that's good. That's a little underground, so we'll have to go underground. Try finding the right one. Is that? No, that's That is the platform. Okay, there. Let's go in and see how it looks. I guess really it's just going to be waiting. Okay, yeah. It's not terrible. I need to fix that. Where was that little thing? Whatever. Textures glitching together does happen, I realized, with this. Because I'm overlaying a lot of the same thing, but... This actually isn't too bad. I can't tell if they're hovering. Yeah, they're hovering a bit. This I need to redo. There's way more trees here. Um, what else? I need to put a speeder or something here. Actually, that should be a little bit closer. There. 
I am one of those people who will just go a little crazy with moving things an inch or two. Just the generic overlay type deal going from the ceiling looking down pretty much what you can get with Google Maps. Uh, this I need to already do. I need to go back here and take pictures of just the trees. One thing I always end up doing is just googling things. And then there's a picture here. That I have up. It's taken about from this angle. There is a shorter tree. Right around here. It's, it's not ten. Bigger than the 15. Guess I could just do... Seven's too small. Probably actually... A 20 with a 10 and then move the 20 down so it's actually two trees in one they kind of blend together there's a really really big tree over here that's a little bit too big it's kind of like this, which I can put there, but I'll mix in some smaller ones. Why don't we put a, f let's redo this playground area, put that like that. that there, rotate like that, um, a 15, and uh, we'll put 20 there, let's lower that down a bit, I really need, I, I know I said I was going to focus on this area, but I just get randomly caught up with certain parts of the project like this. I've sat here many times just watching trolleys go past, waiting for trains. There's the signal box right there. I'll go and copy and paste. Bring that back over here. That goes there. So it goes there, Google Maps overlays a little off, for a very annoying reason that the roof actually tried deleting itself almost. No clue what happened, file must got corrupted, I could save it partially, and everything moved north about 5 feet, 10 feet. So yeah, that makes adding anything very annoying. but. Yeah, I laid all the track before it happened. It was actually only track at that point. And then 
all the barns and trees, which now I think about it, I probably should have redone it, but I didn't, and now I'm stuck with this very annoying issue. So what I'll usually do here is just copy and paste the generic tree bundle group 10 or so times in this area and I'll go back and switch them. This will just show me what the generic outline is supposed to look like and then I just know to fill it. So that's actually there. So that starts curving there. That goes that way. There's a little creek here, which is where the track dead ends, which is trees there. Tree then continues up that way. Up that way, there's a country road there to the person's house. Trees will be less packed there. I mean, this is already not good, but it's looking better than it was, I should say. That's bad. That cannot be like that. Something got messed up.
really only a slight elevation that you can almost never really see. But... Is that level or smooth? That's level. Shoot. Um, here. There's a little box. Let's go back here. If you guys don't know, I don't know if I showed anyone, but I just copy and pasted it because I can never find that asset. If I know I have something placed down somewhere else in the museum, and I know exactly where it is, I will just fly over there and copy and paste it instead of trying to scroll through the 3,000 bajillion assets I have enabled. That's probably okay. Have a double door style. Lower it a bit. Raise that. Cancel. Okay, I think this is getting there. I don't know if I have cars on this. Is there an overlay or something for the Chicago roads? Because they look a lot better, but they're a lot more effort to make. Uh, CD, road, yeah, great. Okay. Local. Let's join that and that. Oh, I need to delete that anyway. That's wrong. <laughs> so let's select this whole road. It's Union Jam. Which is Olsen Road. Can you hear me? That to 0, 0.0001. Get the Can local. It's Union Jam. And we gotta place it down at every time there's one of these little arrows. Which is only there. Sweet. And then we have this, which is the crossing. I don't know if it's actually on the road itself or what. 
but let's what else is over here nothing there's a pole I know but all that electrical bits and bobs I'll have to add after um what is it it's lawn I think I have it what is this one that's not good really for this area which one was it one of these is this, is this one lawn's way too bright I think it's grass dark issue is that has that on it which as amazing as it is when you're doing massive amounts of field it ruins the basic parts of the track and such not the track um it just looks terrible when you have to add other things around it. Hold on, that's really bad. There. I guess that'll work. Uh, let's go into this view. Let some cars generate, see if that actually worked. They do work. Sweet. So this area I'll have to adjust, actually making it bump while it's over the track, um, especially on the UP, that's a little bit high there. I think I just lead the whole thing, but it is good. Hello and welcome to the stream. I'll have to add that back in later, but for now I'm just trying to get that working. Um Save Junctions it is two lane a three-way junction. <sighs> Those are at the top, I think. Yeah, this is what. It's, no, is it C1? It's one of these, I know. I'll just have to sell for B2B2. Actually, I don't need. I guess, even though traffic doesn't stop on Olsen Road, they only stop on whatever road this is, which I have no idea. And I also need to relay it because it is Sherman Hill Road and not Chicago Road. And the Chicago Road is not as well. Or Sherman Hill Road has traffic on it, but I'm already using the Chicago Road for a lot here and such. 
and I like the Chicago assets in general. There's a lot of really good ones in there. Okay, so I'll just have the traffic roll right over that once I get there. I'll actually relay the crossing while I do that. Just make things a little bit easier. Here's the UP line, which I'll need to add ballast. Duh, I feel like I'm missing stuff right here. Guess there's grass along the side. Um, where would it be? I'm tempted to just use something like that. Those are two... Actually, those may be good back here in the Belvedere sub area. Bush 3D, no embankment. Maybe, I may use this actually. Where would, oh, save. Where is it? It's back here. I think I want to use the embankment only because it's really densely packed and there's just a lot of it. So we'll just spam that down a fair amount. And then we'll mix in some other ones with it. Let's select all these. All of them. I think you can't select all of them. Lower them down a little. And leave some a little higher than others. Mix in some trees on top of this. Where are they? Chicago. Uh, 20. No, those are 2D. We want. Actually, I probably should use 2D trees this far back. Considering. Let me get the asset block out. Um, we could do, what's this, those are just smaller trees, we want big trees, we want the 20, that's actually not too bad, what's that, is that the density, not the distribution, so if I add an extra zero, that makes it literally a solid. So if I just change that to two, that's probably a little bit more like it. Still a little bit dense, but whatever. Those are 25. I do those and no, those are fir trees. Oh, duh, it says it. Um usually click this a few times. Let's make that three. So it just adds a bit more in there. It's not perfect. Let's load it into the game and see how it looks. I don't know. I hate these trees because they have this above it, but 
Did I get rid of all of them? I think I did. I probably should mix in some of those 3D ones. I think that's the Riviera line in the 50s. Let's add those in. So the 2D ones are fine. It's just I need to find new 3D. Um, that's white. That's like a very whitish tree, and I don't want a white tree here because, well, that would belong more in a park than. I don't know what these are, but I like them. Let's change that to two. Oh, oops. Whoa, two may, two may. That's probably good. And I'll mix in a few of my own in there. I actually like that. Then, what? I probably because that's all that so I probably don't want asset block that um this is just a weird concrete patch I think there's some old industry here Some like rusted slash worn down. Why is that the Springfield line probably has something? Maybe actually the bottom of a building. Like if I, yeah. Let's find one big enough. Sorry, no. So we'll do this. Oh. Maybe not. they do it? No, okay, never mind, this won't work. Some assets I know you can flip over upside down and use them, but yeah, a lot of these didn't seem to be modeled with undersides. Um, blah, blah, platform, no, no, no. Yeah, I'll put the station sign there. So it's just a platform. That is a bench. That is a CBQ caboose. I kind of want to see if there's a way to actually import this model into the game. Because there's already a caboose like this included with the racetrack. This is literally just a reskin in BN. So, I don't know. It would literally just be taking the texture file of this and putting it on the other, and it would hopefully work. No clue how to do that, though. What are these? That's rocks. This is where things start getting annoying when you start trying to work on certain parts, and then absolutely no assets can be found for it. Those are rapids. There's no water at all in this area. Urban ambient, definitely no. 
tarmac cracks. Let me actually add some of these back to the museum. Because the museum is far from perfect in concrete wise. <laughs> there are a list. Hold on, let me look Google Maps and check. Because for some reason, I swear there's brick here. If it is brick, I'll just put the... I'll have to delete that area. Redo it. Who is currently watching? Today with us, we have Moobot and... That's all it's showing up for me. Streamlabs has not given anyone else following recently. Okay. Okay, it is brick. Oh, good morning, Dan. Welcome. So it's actually all brick. So this area is concrete. Once again, you guys are going to see why I love the racetrack. There always seems to be an asset for everything in that. Uh, the, the, Right, save. Is it? Yeah, there it is. Probably the best asset ever. Right there. Do that. Adjust it. Raise the height up just a bit. Okay, that's bad. It's just a flat thing. Guess I'll just have to keep it like that then. Connect that to that. Okay. So this actually sticks out a little there. Which I've ran into about 30 times at the museum. Hit my head a few times on it because it was annoying and in my way. <laughs> There's actually a little bit of curb here, so I don't know what I can do. Maybe put a sidewalk. Um. Good. This needs to be a little bit more in, I think. Like, I want to have this there, but I don't know. It's starting to get annoying with it, only because it's not this big of a rail car in real life that's sitting here. So things are out of proportion. Typical trying to build a route with pre-made asset issues. Which, I mean, there's no one I can blame because I'm the one who decided not to make custom assets. But, yeah, whatever. So it's brick there. Then... area what around so this 
this is all get torn up. Hello, welcome to the stream. Let's do that. Concrete cuts there. Concrete runs alongside the building, which roads one. We will just run a straight shot east and position it a little bit over. That's good. Then that, delete that. Let's find a sidewalk. I have no idea. That's a sidewalk. That may work. Let's see how it looks. That's actually not too bad. So yeah, for all you MPTV regulars who saw this being played on the 24-hour stream, this is the Illinois Railway Museum in Trainston, which I don't think anyone's actually built in this generation of simulation, only MSTS and what was it? Trains, I think. Did it fit? Yes, it did. The ones just need to trim it to about there. Sidewalk, lower it down a bit. Not too much, just a little. Shift it a little bit more that way. Then concrete ends here. Out there. Delete no wrong thing. So if you have any questions about the route itself or the real IRM really anything just let me know there it is where are we at now we're in about so uh, probably maybe try another hour no idea can you think of anything I should buy in the Steam sale for under seven? Uh, you could buy me a marketplace pack. Just joking. You could though. No, I don't know. Um, Okay, Steam is now popping up. Welcome to Steam. A 
this is how I always get to the products. The 67 is always good. I, I want that one. So, let's go from lowest price up. Then we'll find the $7. Okay. So you can get GWR5029. Like that pack. The CN Wide Nose. Don't know if that's US only. Uh, San Diego Commuter Rail. VR Blue Pack, if you don't have that. Uh, 27, I don't know about. PDL, that's a okay pack, has a fair amount in there. The 14 for Hydraulics, 52 for Hydraulics. Woodhead, which I like. Welcome to the stream. Chorus Railway, I don't know about. North Somerset is a requirement for IRM, so if you want to play IRM, you need that. A6, which is okay. I like it. Okay, seeing wide nose is worldwide. I didn't know there was one CN DLC. It might have been the one with the BNSF pack. That was limit limited. The foul mount. Yeah, well, I can't talk. I haven't played this personally, but I know there are some signaling issues. Isle of Wight. Sell Carlisle. That's good. I definitely recommend the 57. Love this add-on. Only driven it like 10 times, but it's very good. 1970s DB pack. That kind of looks interesting. Um, some LMS coaches. SC47. That's a good one. If you have anything that works southeast, Definitely would recommend that. Uh, one, one, one. I don't have thirty-one. I would just get the BR blue pack in all honesty, unless you're really looking for a certain reskin. Three nineties, okay. I personally don't drive because I don't really do much on the West Coast Main Line modern day. Uh, seventy-six. I don't have the 08 you have to have because why not? The 4 Sig, 4 Vep, 66, all pretty good locos. H8PA is good for Northeast Corridor. 33 pack if you're looking for specific things. Freightliner, 66 indeed. has some wagons with it. Right here. It's in the UK collection. What else is there? Uh, the 33, which is good because it has network southeast. Like that one. One five eight. I personally didn't go for when I was in uh, on sale. The four sig. I kind of want, but I may get the MLV. But I think that's what it is. Uh, Freightliner seventy is a good add-on. Oh, that's all you have. Um, yeah. I mean. I would get that. 449. You could get something from the really, really cheap page. I don't know if you could get that and the 67, but. 67, I want. I don't know how well it made it is. I kind of want the 67 and then the Swansea pack. Okay, yeah. The only reason I was thinking of getting the 4 SIG was because there's a marketplace reskin. But, yeah. This one, I kind of want. It's 18 right now for all of this, which is two routes plus two add ons. I mean, I only plan on really playing the 
Well, actually, I really only want the 67. Just because that's an interesting engine. And then the, the S-Bahn thing I'm kind of wondering about. Signaling I don't think is too hard on that line from what I was told. Seven pack has markers and DB paint. DB mark, no, uh, yeah, okay, so it's DB paint, mark three sleepers. I don't know, maybe then. I may look at it. Uh, GP9 pack, most people can't get. The 170 is nice. Uh, the 4F, I would definitely go for. It's an old add on, but there's a boatload in it. Uh, California Zephyr Pack's useless because it comes in Soldier Summit, other than the Phase 2, which doesn't matter too much. I thought uh, Steve said the South Wales Coastal 67 was updated, which was one thing I was interested in. I was pretty sure. Uh, 44 ton locos are interesting. Not too many people use them just because they're not the best. They probably can only pull a little bit. Um, 67 Jubilee pack was a good pack. I had some fun doing stuff. Yeah, I may just do the cheap 67 pack then. Uh, the old HST pack, kind of broken from what I heard. So I don't know if you should get that. Uh, Game of Owns. Holiday Express I got for OMR. The O4 is pointless if you have Netherfield now. I think is what it is. Uh, SD45 is good. Has a fair amount of wagons in it in UP than the SP1. The NS1 also has a fair amount of wagons. A hopper, a gondola, three cabooses, I think, yeah, should be it. Uh, Big Boy has an array of modern rolling stock, which is pretty much just the basic Kuchu stuff poured over the Sherman Hill. Um, what else is there? The A3, Scotsman, I mean... Okay, then. It may just be the buffer pack that's broken with it. One of the old HST packs is broken, I know. <laughs> J94, Ed said stay away from, just because there's a lot of better versions now. I personally thought it was fun, because for some reason I could push the wagons and then just let them roll down the hill. I don't know what was wrong with the physics there, but it was kind of interesting. Yeah, pump car is kind of expensive. It's like $90, not... <laughs> okay, the buffer HST. I only use it really for AI on the ECML, because it has the Grand Central and VTEC. Unbranded variant, obviously. Actually, wh why don't I show you how much time and money I've spent wasting away at this game. <laughs> Pretty much almost everything on the cheap pages I own because I would just go through and buy all the cheap add-ons because they were cheap. Kind of a dumb idea, but now I own a lot. see it in this view all of that stuff starting off in 2010 April 18 uh, the start of something that's all I can say
be at ooh the 101 definitely if you don't have this I don't know if it's a bug or what but I got the regional railways pack when I bought this 101 so you're pretty much getting two if that bug is still there which is eight dollars but in all honesty the pack comes with so much it's crazy the Weirdale 101 this 101 is BR blue it comes with like I think like 30 or so different variants it's it's ridiculous and then the regional railways which is used for a lot oh I'm freezing down here in the basement <laughs> it's a hundred and three out a hundred degrees Fahrenheit and I'm freezing outside Let's see if it can. So it's about 40 degrees Celsius outside. Uh, the B1 is also in Netherfield or Nottingham Network. I don't even remember what that's called. I wanted it, but I owned everything on there, so I personally didn't find it too worth it because, yeah. I don't know. Um, what else is there? Liverpool, Manchester. I never really played. Uh, wow, sixty percent off. L.A. to San Diego for seven dollars. Eight dollars. That's ridiculous. I regret paying forty. The 14 I'm interested in, I just don't play enough Western stuff, so I kind of want to get the Hydraulics Pack back in the editor, do some stuff. Q1 I was looking at, definitely, just because it's Victory Works, it looks awesome. Um, what else is there? The sell the Carlisle specials the EWS 66 I don't know if this is different from the sell on Carlisle 66 but um, this one has V2 King class Castle class Tornado 47 and some coaches Uh, the SD40, there's a reskin for if I really want it. The dock tank looked interesting. It has stuff for rolling stock. Actually, I'm going to be right back for a second. It'll be like two seconds. Okay, back. There's a massive spider. <laughs> uh, 57 rail tour I was looking at. The Arrow 3 I somewhat want. Just because. The issue is there isn't really a lot to operate it on. Uh, whatever. Yeah. It has. Yeah, I don't know. I personally wish other stuff happened with the Selden Carlisle 66, like you had more wagons, but 
whatever. Uh, 220 I kind of want, but meh. the 07 I don't really know if I'd use it that much. The 422. That one looked interesting. Uh, the 40 I have from AP. What else is there? The Santa Fe one. The TPO. I kind of want, but... I don't know. It would be, like, $17, but... Oh, the Thumper, yeah. That was one that I was thinking about. I mean, I would need this, the MLV 419. How much was that? 20? Yeah, that's 20 plus that. But then I'd pretty much have any southern region electric. China clay. Um. The G2. Just got the 45, so I don't need that. Um, yeah, really, I have $5 worth of stuff so far. Thumper, get the one on AP site. This one I bought and returned to it being very very buggy at, and pretty much unplayable where are you lines I've been contemplating at this point I'll probably just go for the 67 Let's get back into the game. <laughs> Probably should have changed the game to Steam S Store Simulator. Um, let's extend this road a little bit further. Connect that onto that. And just delete that. There. But yeah, 67. And then, really any add-on. There really aren't too many bad add-ons, especially for the prices. They're ridiculously cheap, and a lot of people don't like them because sounds, but in all honesty, a lot of the stuff I buy just ends up as AI, so it's not too big of a deal. Let's delete this because I'll probably actually spend a stream working on this only. And I'd rather not have this rushed work left around because I'll forget to delete it. That's, that. That's the wrong one. That. That one, that one. Delete that. Okay. Kind of want to add people walking up and down this. Hmm. Um, where's another place a lot of people walk around the diner here? Let me redo the ground after I save. There are no changes. So grass, lawn, start covering it up. Go into here. Foliage. 
those are all bushes. Just grass. Grass short. Can I fit one in? No. Medium? Uh, that's not too bad. There's that, just kind of curved off a little bit better. That's the long one. Let's go up along the border here. See, I'll just have it really low in the ground like that. Copy and paste it around a lot. And I jack up the asset count thousands at a time. But I can recreate things very well, in my opinion. Just realized push talk was on. Whatever. <laughs> Eventually, the museum plans on expanding trolley loop. It currently goes this way, and then turns down here. In the future, they're hoping to have it run all the way down this, around here, up this, parallel to Olson Road. Continue up this way until here take a right and then they're hoping to eventually have this area ooh, overhead wires what track did I pick for that um whatever uh, bleh. so eventually this will all be like a main downtown area and yeah it'll actually look fairly cool they're also hoping to turn this area into a giant roundhouse 
with that turntable that thing over here I'm assuming they'll rip up this and then just put a giant roundhouse there turntable there and then just run equipment out onto here out onto the main it'll be interesting to see once or if that ever actually happens I don't know. I just randomly log on to the route and just drive or just like fly around looking at it, comparing it. This area, it looks cool. Lots of random stuff. All of this I need to redo. But my biggest issue was just having the dark green grass was leading to the little grass particles spraying to places they shouldn't have been like other areas that weren't even covered in that so like here I would have it on the main line and such even though it ends over here there were some really weird bugs with it. So yeah, it's going to be a lot more work going back around, but... Hopefully it's going to look nice. And then, eventually I'm going to try figuring out a way to get the bus loop in. Because in real life, there is a few bus routes that are taken at the museum that have overhead and gasoline buses one of which is here you'd have buses going around this loop here taking a left hanging down this road stopping picking up passengers going around and they turn this way drop off passengers at the parking lot Drive all the way back, head up here, and then head back around the loop. And then a few times I've seen them doing an alternate loop, which is this, and they go down this dirt road here, drive all along this, pretty much the trolley loop, then they turn on to here go through there, and then back here. And then there's these crossing signals, which aren't perfect, but it's as really as close as I could get for this. There's not a lot I can do, sadly, because certain signals they have are ridiculously rare. And there were only like 10 or so ever made or used, so no one's going to model them and then put them in an official route. There's a lot of <laughs> hidden stuff underground, such as coaling tower that they refuel at over here. Um, what else is there? Do I have the water tower? Cause that's actually a sand thing, but... And that should be over here and be like, I don't know, I need to find proper assets for some of this because there's a sand tower here that goes ridiculously tall. What if... Also, here's what the, if IRM had a roundhouse, what it would probably end up looking like. Something like this, turntable, a little bit different, but this would all probably be 
round house, then you just have the main track coming out. Um, what would it be? There's a pole or something somewhere I saw. Uh, I could maybe just stack on top of itself. For all signals. What's this? Death not repeater. Post call. No. Orange. No. Uh, what's that? Signal no. Those are. This isn't too bad for this. Engine shed stone plaster. Water crane infill ramp. I don't know. Just try and find something that would work. This is 90% of building right here. It may not seem fun, but in the end, once it actually turns out, it's... Ooh. Ooh, yes. We'll raise this up. Flip it around. Is there a bottom model oh my gosh there actually is holy cow that never happens let's go from a distance and look it's a little crooked about that we'll move this right here put the tower on top raise it up Position it right on it. Then you can tell this isn't actually level. Move it in there. It isn't perfect, but it's a lot better than it was. There's actually a little wooden bunker around this. Um, something Ooh. there were wind signs I don't know Let's see. Oh, box no 
large metal sign. It's Santa Fe stuff. I'll figure it out at some point. stream for now. I'll probably come back later. For now though. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs>